How's it going guys? Dre here and welcome back to Besiege. Today we're starting off with another Ornithopter design. Full vanilla creation here and it looks fantastic. It's got full controls. You're supposed to be able to land this thing with ease. And uh, as you can see, it is a bird design. So let's get this thing off the ground and see how good it is at being a bird. Now, uh, yeah, no problem at all. Very easy to fly. Let's put up the uh, landing gear here and that's not good. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we're not landing the thing, or we're not landing it easily, at least. But, yeah, here we go. We got another Ornithopter. I thought we would go to Blade Mountain today because this is my favorite place to fly some very awesome creations. Is, is my wing broken? Oh, oh, both my wings are broken. Okay, come on, wing. Work again. No, it, it is, it's going down. It's going down, and I can't do anything about it. All right, well, let's try that again. Let's see how good this thing is at taking off. Can we do it twice in a row? It is kind of working with us here that we're going downhill, but no problem at all. You can take right off. You can see the mechanics of this thing. It's pretty impressive as well. It's always nice to see vanilla creations that do well in terms of mechanics. Okay, so I wonder if I have to play this in invincibility because every time I do that, my wheel falls off. And once again, my wing broke because of that, I'm assuming. All right, let's try the gear on the ground here. So yes, that works no problem at all. So I'm thinking I need to glide in the air to deal with that. Uh, the thing with vanilla creations is sometimes you have to do interesting things or they break. So if we try and get a little bit of air here or a little bit of height rather, and then we'll turn this off and put those wheels. Okay, why? I mean, this thing works so better when the wheels are stowed away. I'm actually gliding right now and it's actually this thing can be an amazing glider as well. Let's turn off that wheel so it stops moving. Maybe that's the issue. I have my wheels on all the time. But as you can see, I'm not even doing anything. And it is just fantastic at gliding as well. We'll turn back on the wings and uh, see how good this thing is. All right. But yeah, with the wheels stowed, this thing is very easy to use. I want to see if I can do a loop with it. So we're going to go do a little bit of a dive bomb here. Let's turn the wings off. And... Oh, 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 there we go, wrong way, didn't mean to do that. All right, we'll start flapping in the middle of this. Oh, fantastic, this is an amazing ornithopter. Woo, almost hit the ground there. And you gotta love it, a mechanical bird. Did not mean to do that, but that's fine. All right, we're back at the sandbox, because I want to see, A, how good this thing is at taking off on flat ground, because it's uh, pretty good at taking off before, but on flat ground, does take a little bit of runway, but no problem at all once it's in the air. Uh, most importantly though, I want to see if I can land this thing. So I put this thing in an in invincibility just to see. Oh god, the gear's still broken. Look at the, oh. <laughs> what a, the gear doesn't want to work with me on this thing. I'm not really sure why. There was no complaints in the comments about the gears not working, so I'm assuming it's just a random glitch that happens. But uh, we're gonna see how this, good this thing is at landing. So I'm gonna try and straighten this out, and there we go. Let's slower the gears back down, and oh, look at that. Dude, this thing is its such a good glider. Yeah, you really don't have to worry about landing. That is the softest landing I ever did. I can't even get it on the ground because it wants to glide so badly. All right, can I actually... I think you can... Yeah, use the brakes of the wheels to stop. Okay, stop, wheels. There we go, though. I finally landed something without breaking a single piece off. That has got to be one of the best landers in the game. And there's probably nothing wrong with it, so we can take it off again. But yes, that is another Ornithopter design in Besiege. I know you guys love these things. I do as well. I just wish the gears would work. Uh, let's just go up high and see if I can fix it. All right, I'm going to try and coast. And I feel like if I'm coasting, there we go. I finally got it to work at the end. And maybe it's because I kept the, uh, the uh, wheels spinning. But look at how good this thing is at gliding. There's no engines on this thing. I don't know how it does it, but... I could probably keep gliding for like five minutes or so, just kind of riding the uh, speed of this thing. I'm actually speeding up. Look at the look at the velocity of this thing. So I don't know if this thing has some sort of magic going on or what, or if it's just an amazing creation. But the fact that you can <laughs> actually kind of glide with this thing as well is pretty damn impressive. All right, let's uh, make a crash landing here right in the peasant village. And that's right, I got invincibility on, so I guess we're not going to crash it. So yeah, I guess that landing didn't count either because I had invincibility on, but it was so soft, I'm certain nothing would have broke off. So yeah, that is the Magpie Chassis Ornithopter. All right, and this next one has me pretty excited because this is something we have never seen before. This is called the SLC M1904, and it is the first 
at least according to the developer, that is, self-loading cannon in Besiege. Now, if you don't really know what that means, well, think of this thing as a large pistol that uses cannons as ammo. We have a cannon in the chamber right now. Once that cannon shoots, it will get rid of that cannon and then load up the next one into the chamber from the magazine down here. It's an absolutely impressive contraption, and I do not think I've ever seen anything quite like this in Besiege. It's also got a pretty impressive cross here on here. Now, unfortunately, uh, there is no way to rotate it or aim it up just yet. I'm assuming it's still kind of in development here. Uh, and this thing is prone to jamming. I will say that ahead of time here. So hopefully we can get a good run here. Let's uh, turn this thing on so it's all primed up. And now it's just one button. We can watch it load up and look at that. Fantastic. There's four or five. Okay, so it did jam after five. Unless that's all. Is that all that's in the chamber? Oh, yeah, unfortunately, the final one jammed, and unfortunately, there's also a safe stop on this thing. It only likes to work about half the time, though, and usually it can unjam itself. Right now, I'm pressing the button, and it's not doing anything, so it's not working. I want to try that again, though. Let's slow it down and really appreciate how this thing works, because I'm curious how it knows when the cannon has shot, because it's a time-based thing. Uh, some cannons, it takes longer to get into the chamber, takes longer to heat up, so it's, it's, I'm really curious at how this me mechanism works. All right, so we have it turned on. It's primed up. We're going to go nice and slow now, 6%, and hold it in. There it goes. So that will heat up this block, which heats up the side of it, I think, and then bam, it shoots out. You can see it actually hits the mechanics, which kind of screws it up a little bit. This one looks like it might get jammed. No, it actually went in there. So I think, yes, it's the actual hitting of the cannon into the mechanism that reloads the next cannon inside, I believe. I mean, I'm no engineer here, but it's looking like that's exactly what's happening. And that's probably why it's so prone to breakage, because these cannons have a mind of their own. But the fact that it's actually doing it is so impressive to me. So yeah, you can see the recoil. It hits it back, and then it springs this and then the spring pulls it back in to reload the next one into the chamber. That is a fantastic design and a fantastic mechanism on this thing. You can see the design back here to deal with that recoil as well. Absolutely fantastic, and that shot all six out, I believe. Or did we get the last one stuck again? Yes, we did. Let's see if we can unjam it this time. No, for some reason, that final one, it just doesn't want to work, and it doesn't want to unjam itself. I actually kind of want to intentionally jam this so you can see how that jam mechanism works. But it doesn't seem to want to work on that final one. Okay, let's drop that down. And still, yeah, I broke it. It's totally broken, guys. All right, and I wanted to try and destroy something. So uh, I got kind of bored of hitting castles all the time. So I downloaded this, which is just a simple uh, structure here that is huge. 3,000 blocks strong. So this is probably one of the biggest creations we've ever actually seen. You can see it's actually leaning in the air. I think it's actually kind of breaking on its own weight. So uh, we're going to kind of help it out here. Hopefully, that is, and uh, shoot this thing down. So let's shoot it up. There goes the first shot. It's at 5%, by the way, so this is very, very slow, as you can see. Oh, wait for that impact, though. That's going to be impressive. And I got to hold the button. I might have broke it there. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, it's going to crumble. It went right through, didn't it? Oh, no, it actually kind of got stuck in there. And I think I broke my gun because I let go of the button. You're not supposed to do that. Let's see if we can unjam it, baby. Uh, nope, not working again. The unjam feature absolutely sucks on this thing. Is this thing breaking down, though? Oh, yeah, she's crumbling. All right, well, now for a very impressive time lapse. Let's watch this thing crumble to the ground because there's nothing better in this game. And there it is in all its glory. So it's a very simple structure, but uh, yeah, very fun to shoot down, that's for sure. All right, but I think that's enough of the SLC M1904. So that is a very impressive new piece of weaponry in Besiege. I hope you guys liked it. Well, now that we got this tower here, let's play with this for a quick second. I just wanted to try two things. First of all, putting a bomb at the top of the tower, and then it's just going to manually drop all the way down and we'll be able to see a very impressive explosion probably at the bottom. And then I wanted to try a slow burn of the tower as well, just to see what it looks like. We usually don't get uh, structures of this size, so let's have some fun with it while we currently have it. All right, so it should be falling in there, and we should see a pretty impressive explosion in a second here. I'm going to try... Uh, my, my camera's probably going to go crazy, unfortunately. That's the problem. I can only attach to the uh, tower here, but we should see... Any second now, a big explosion at the bottom. We can't watch because we don't really see where the bomb is. So I don't, I don't, I don't want to ruin the shot. Let's wait. 
Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's exactly how I wanted it. Why is there multiple explosions? Is there a way to explode this tower? I'm very curious now. Well, that was damn impressive. Uh, yeah, you can see the amount of fire here. I was hoping it would spread to the rest of it, but uh, looks like this one is going to be safely out of place. All right, so let's try one more quick thing since we don't usually do this too much, and I'm gonna put, uh, well, first of all, we'll get rid of that bomb, but I'm gonna put a flamethrower at the bottom. All right, I actually decided to put it at the top because I like the idea of a burning, crumbling tower. So we got that all set up. Let's uh, time lapse this once again. I just watched four minutes of that in slow motion and that was the coolest freaking thing ever. I can't wait to time lapse this. So yes, sometimes it's not about the craziest creations. It's about, you know, just interesting things like this. And that fire was just perfect. You know, I could have let it go for a little bit longer, but I think you guys get the idea. These time lapses and these big structures are always fun to play with. Like, look at this. This whole thing's engulfed and this thing's gonna get engulfed now and, uh, yeah, that whole tire, that whole tower burnt right to the ground. All right, and I wanted to check out one more creation today. This is the Mega Stunt Park, as you can see. My God, look at the... Okay, I, I didn't expect the scale of this when I actually opened it up. So, I don't think we'll be able to check out everything today, but uh, let's go in there and see what happens. Is this how we get in? You know, this is this is this is a pretty cool way to get in. So yeah, I will say this car extremely hard to drive, but aside from that, like I am just so excited. There's not many stunt parks in Besiege or things you can actually play with. So the fact that we got this here is amazing. Like look at these banks. Look at this. How do you even start on that bank? I guess we could go. Uh, let's try and join in right here. This thing. Okay, this car. This car could definitely use some work. That's about it, but I oh, just bounced right off it. So that's obviously not how you enter. Oh, it's actually at the bottom, right by where we spawn. So let's try uh, at least once to go up there. Now, there is uh, camera angles with this thing, but the camera angles are like extreme fisheye as well, which is uh, a little confusing. So let's go and see if we can do it nice and slow. This thing's a very light car, so you don't really have to, whoa, God, worry about it falling off until you suck. All right, let's give it one more shot here. I'm going to go a little bit faster this time, or try to, while keeping this thing stabilized. Oh, there we go. We saved it. Come on, keep going up. Oh, it's a little bit of a hard turn here. You can see it's not the easiest thing to use, but it's definitely doable. Yes, we made it to what I'm assuming is the top. Let's actually, I hate this view. Oh my god, that one's even worse. And then we got a first person that's really bad as well. Okay, so yeah, the camera views are not my favorite, but they did work. It allowed me to actually do this. So what is this over? Oh my god. Okay, let's try and ride this. <laughs> this is a real stunt park, man. This is awesome. Okay, I actually accidentally hit that. But yeah, I think you get the idea, guys. We might check out some more of this in the future if you guys are curious about it. But uh, I did probably the hardest feature of this. I guess there's that loop there we could try as well. But yeah, I just wanted to show this thing off because there's not enough of these made. There's not enough fun zones for vehicles. And I hope some new ones come out. But yeah, we're going to wrap up this one here, guys. This was the giant episode of Besiege, I guess you could say. We had a lot of very large creations. Let me know what you guys think of those montages. Do you like those? Do you like the big destructions? Uh, because I will do more of them if you guys are interested in it. It's always fun to do. But yeah, I'm going to end off this one here. I hope you guys have an amazing day. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>